Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can join my crew. I know you read the title, so you already know what this video is about to be about. So I'm just going to hop right into the story. Okay, so boom. I probably was like 18, 19, in that little age range, okay. And you know, once you fresh out of high school on your way to college and all that, you keep all your options open. So one day, I had an idea. It was like, bitch, you need to get your sugar daddy. Okay, that idea popped in my head. So I get on YouTube. I start watching Code Name Chanel. Comment down below if you guys heard of her or if you watch her channel and all that. You already know that she gonna put you on. She gonna spill the tea. She gonna tell you the sights, the do's, the don'ts, tips, all that. Okay, so me and my friend, we went to Cold Name Chanel YouTube channel, and we just started watching all her videos, trying to see, like, how to get sugar daddies, where to meet them, how, uh, what kind of things to say, everything like that. So, Cold Name Chanel, she put us on game, you know, about how to find the sugar daddies and all that. So, we downloaded the apps. I think one was Meet Me. I'm trying to see the name of the apps. It's not coming to my mind right now. If I think of it, I'll put it in the description box below. But yeah, we downloaded all of these little apps, made our little profiles or whatever. And one of them, one of the apps that was on, like people was actually hitting me up, like left the right, ding, 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 like sugar days left the right. But you gotta be careful because sometimes you can tell if they were real or if they were fake. Because if they ask you about a bank, or um if they ask you about a bank or say something about your car info and all that it's a scam sis because they don't need to know all that okay but anyway i had a couple of those and a couple real ones but let me get to the point of the story now the couple of real ones that i did get from one of these apps yeah i just could not i couldn't do it like i know sugar daddy they supposed to be you know, I'm kind of older than you, but it's just the stuff they were saying was just so, ugh. It was so disgusting, like, and then the type of person I am, I don't, I don't like to sit up talking about it all day and all that type of stuff, but some of them won't ask them for much. It was like, just call them on the regular, text them every day, stuff like that. I couldn't even do that because these old men, they be so fucking horny. And the shit they say just sounds so dirty and nasty. It just make me cringe. So I knew that I wasn't going to stick with that for long. But I did continue to text like one of the dudes. But he was way off somewhere. So on my profile, I put that I was living in Miami, Florida, blah, blah, blah. So most of the men that would hit me up, they were from Florida. But anyway... My profile was fake because I wasn't really finna take it serious. I was just, you know, seeing what the little sugar daddy stuff was about. So, that's why I made a fake profile. So, the one sugar daddy that I kept, the one that I told you guys, I kept texting. We would get to know each other and stuff like that. So, eventually, he started talking about meeting up. He been wanting to see me, take me on dates, and all type of stuff like that. So, I agreed. I mean, of course... It wasn't going to happen for real because I went in Florida. I was in Mississippi at the time. So, yeah. I, um, you know, just was putting up a good conversation. Just tricking him like I'm finna see him and stuff like that. No damn way. I don't even live in this state, okay? <laughs> but anyway, y'all. So, he offered to um buy me some lingerie. I don't know what the fuck he thought was going to happen when we met up. But he was trying to buy me some lingerie. He was just sending me different screenshots, stuff. I'm for you like this. I can get this for you, and all that. So it was it was really starting to creep me out, and I was just getting irritated by him. So I just you know stopped contacting him and all that. So it's a couple days passed by. I'm not on the app. 
I get back on the app, I probably got like 10 messages from him. And the first couple messages, you know, it was sweet. He was like, I'm worried about you. Contact me back where you at. I still want to see you, stuff like that. Then the last couple messages, he was like, I'm horny. I want you right now. I'm like, ugh, I just couldn't. I just can't. I can't put up with that. I just couldn't. No amount of money. I'm not finna sit up there. Ugh. Just disgusting, y'all. That's how I knew I couldn't do it because, like, I wasn't even by him or around him physically. It was just the type of stuff he was saying about what he wanted to do to me and all that type of stuff. I'm just like, mm mm. <laughs> mm mm. I'm good on it, okay? Y'all can have the little sugar daddy stuff. These men are perverts, horny, freaky dogs. This is what they are. Y'all call them sugar daddies. They horny, freaky dogs. Just looking for some sugar. And of course, my own definition of a sugar daddy, you could be my sugar daddy, but I'm not giving you no sugar, okay? None of it. And the dude that I was texting, he was one of those that wanted sugar, and I wasn't going. So yeah, I deleted that app. I need to check my profile and see like have people been still messaging me and stuff like that. It's been a while since I've been on here been on there but like yeah y'all i just cut off all contact all everything because the type of stuff he was saying really creeped me out and it was really nasty and coming from an old man y'all this shit is nasty y'all know this shit's nasty okay but anyway y'all i hope you enjoyed this little mini story time if you have a similar story or if you enjoyed this story time comment down below and let me know and also if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can what? Join my crew. Peace.